Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects webinar snippet. These snippets include excerpts of webinars that are accessible by going to our website at www.performancearchitects.com and registering for our Learning Center, a community and forum for on-demand business education in the business intelligence and enterprise performance management arenas and related topics. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. So I'm on the Enterprise Reporting and Data Governance team, and what our role is essentially to provide information to the decision makers within Evans, uh, primarily by supplying new data sources of information that are core to the business, and then creating various reports that are op operational, tactical, or strategic in nature. Uh, for example, so, uh, we have, for our finance reporting, we provide monthly asset reporting, uh, performance reporting we provide fund and benchmark performance information. Uh, for the investment reporting, we provide assets under management and client reporting statements. Uh, marketing, we provide mailing lists, market metrics, segmentation, and for customer reporting, we provide sales and activities reporting. Now I'll turn it over to Kelly to talk about data governance. So before we actually get into the specifics on the case study, I think it's important to actually take a little time to set up some of the concepts we're going to be talking about today. So the first one I want to talk about is data governance. Now, there's a definition here from the Data Governance Institute, which you can actually find online, that specifies that data governance is a system of decision rights and accountabilities for information-related processes executed according to agreed-upon models which describe who can take what actions with what information and when under what circumstances using specific methods. Like all dictionary definitions, it's a little bit of a mouthful. So talking about that in more general terms, data governance is the term that is used to embody a data management strategy, but it covers both operational and technical perspectives. So really, it helps you resolve issues related to data definitions, master data, and data processing, all within the general framework of data governance. It involves making changes to your processes and systems, so there's technical solutions to manage your master data. There are business process changes that help you drive a single version of the truth, and organizational process changes to agree to common definitions of terms. How do you know that you have a data governance problem? So giving you a few examples here, you know, when you are in meetings and you're having discussions about the data definitions instead of the analysis of the data, you're struggling with a single version of the truth, so that can be open to interpretation. You have reports that can be very challenging because there are multiple, sometimes conflicting, data sources that actually can provide the same, what appears to be the same information. So, you know, common issues that we've seen are things like the term FTE. In one system, that might mean an employee over 32 hours. Another one, it might mean over 36 hours. In another case, you might have, you know, only an employee that receives full benefits regardless of how many hours they work. Another, you know, situation might mean, you know, what are we talking about in terms of customer? Is that our service customer or our product customer? Two different reports, you can get very different things. Another example here is when you have, you know, multiple terms that actually mean the same thing. So, you know, you can say that we have active customers, but you could also say that current customers mean the same thing as active. Well, on two different reports and two different systems, depending upon what day they're pulled, all of a sudden you get different numbers or slightly different numbers and you're not entirely sure what you're looking at. Um, or you put them both on the same report and you can double count your customers, which is even worse. An employee on one report might be an FTE on another. So again, you have this struggle constantly of understanding what are you talking about, what are you looking at, what's the correct set of numbers, and that's really when you know that you need to address some data governance issues. 